Hello everyone, we are here at the Pagoda Garden at Norfolk, Virginia. We went to Norfolk and we found this garden and we stopped by and we took a lot of pictures and you know, I started vlogging and welcome back to my fancy channel. As we go forward, we saw a beautiful scenery of the Pagoda itself, which is a multi structure tower that is usually made of wooden or stone and is open inspired by Buddhist architecture. In a pagoda garden, the pagoda is typically surrounded by ponds, small bridges, and various trees and plants creating a peaceful and serene atmosphere. Like here in pagoda garden at Norfolk, it has a lot of views in fountains and flowers and different area that you can take a good photo shot especially the front of the pagoda building as i learned in my history class pagoda is was built during tang dynasty look at them uh, are those monkeys or dragon dragon <laughs> it's a dragon monkey okay. it's a I know that the Japanese garden has a five elements that they are overseas in their architecture. They have stone, water, plants, sand, and architecture, koi or man-made structures. So the, the stone are, in, are an important element of Japanese garden. They can be used to create paths, bridges, and water features and are open arranged in aesthetically pleasing groupings. And also the water, usually they represented by pond, streams, or waterfalls, and is often used to create a sense of calm and tranquility. In the plants, including trees, shrubs, and flowers, are also an important part of Japanese garden because they are carefully chosen and arranged to create a sense of balance and harmony. Sand, sand or gravel is often used in to represent water or to create the impression of waves or ripples. It's also used to create patterns and designs such as the famous Zen Garden. The man-made uh, structure called Koyo, such as the tea houses, gates, and lantern that are designed to complement the natural beauty of the garden. They are often constructed using natural materials such as wood and stone and are designed to blend seam seamlessly into the surrounding environment. As we move forward, roaming around the garden, uh, we will feel the, the tranquility and serene nature that connected to, to us. In thinking about this, I learned from my art, art history that Chinese and Japanese are kind of like the same style architecture of creating a garden. Um, they have the same motif, like the five elements, um, because during Heian period, Zen Buddhism was introduced to Japan from China, where it was already highly developed and known as Chan. Relation between the two countries had been interrupted during the Han period, but during the Kamakura era, both immigrant Chinese and Japanese monks who went to China to study Buddhism and returned home enthused about the new teaching they learned there brought Zen to Japan. Before we continue, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I will do more vlogs and good stuff to post and i Look promise you will not it's worth it to watch upon uh, moving ahead to our new to our vlog today 
And yes, we're still walking around. And now, uh, mm, there's a lot of beautiful flowers. And it, although it's not so big, but you are, you will enjoy going around here. Because it has uh, um, nice, tranquility and harmony mixed together during this time is the best time to come here at pagoda garden in norfolk and you will enjoy it and there's also some other places around here that you can go and eat and it's nearby the, the center of norfolk virginia mm, you see as we walk forward, we end up at this area where it's like a port of the ships. Yes, a naval ship. And it is really nice, I guess, to live around here when you go for a walk and get some walking exercise in the garden. <laughs> and aside from that, there's still more in this garden, although it's not so big. There's a pond that you can uh, um, feed them if you bring some some uh, fish feeder or or a, or a little like maybe bread. <laughs> and there's a very nice fountain, and the fountain feels when you hear the sound is so calming. And there's a lot of fish. It's so big. It's cold. It's color gold. And I think we call that in Japan koi, but I don't know um, English, maybe it's koi too. So it's fountain, and those cute couple are so cute. And I'll take some selfie, of course, and the couple, you see, there's a lovey dovey. And it's so nice, it's so smooth, that couple thing. And look at that. It's mermaids. It's made from blue Turkish crystal stone. I guess this is very elegant mermaid. And it's very tall and big. As you see me under the thing. And this is the gate of the Bagoda Garden and they have some cherry blossoms still and shout out to Miss Judy Weichel and to my friend um, um, Michelle Michelle hi thank you salamat uh, thank you for watching see you next time on my blog bye